I think that the, the majority of the hematologic malignancies has a median age around 65 plus minus. And this is the case, for instance, for the diffuse large B-cell lymphoma in our country. We have the median age uh, 64 years. So it means that uh, the significant proportion of the patients are older than uh, 65, than 70, and uh, than 80 as well. So it's not very easy uh, to manage the treatment these patients because the elderly patients have a significantly higher incidence of the comorbidities and they are frail. So to pick up the proper treatment for this patient is really essential. What we presented uh, at this meeting is the large cohort of patients uh, over the 80 diagnosed with a diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. It's a retrospective analysis of our prospective, uh, prospective, prospectively collected data. And we identified approximately 370 patients who were eligible for the analysis. And out of these 372 patients, 112 patients were treated with the anthracycline-based regimen based on investigator assessment. So it seemed that only a third out of the whole cohort of these patients are treated with the curative regimen, the anthracycline-based regimen. In Czech Republic, the estimated survival of person at age 80 is approximately nine years. If we divided this group of patients, 112 patients, into three subgroups, how they have been treated, we realize that the majority of the patients have a modified CHOP. It means uh, they have some kind of the reduction, but uh, there were two cohorts of patients. One cohort of patients were treated uh, with a, what we call rituximab mini-CHOP, based on the data published almost eight years ago uh, by the French uh, group, our mini -chirp. and the minority of patients, approximately 20% of patients, were treated with the full dose shop. We tried to compare this cohort of patients and we really didn't find any significant reason uh, any significant difference. There were only two differences. The modified CHOP patients have a higher percentage of these patients have a tumor bulk over five or ten centimeters and they have a significantly higher proportion of the cardiac comorbidity around the 60 percent compared to the R-CHOP and the R-MINI-CHOP there were, the, uh, there were the, uh, around 30 percent. And the main result of the study is that if you pick up the patients who are able to get the full dose job, the outcome of the patient is quite good. So the median overall survival of this patient was 4.6 years. So it seems that these patients have a shortened overall survival compared to the general population at 80, but still they have a reasonable survival compared to the three years of the patients treated with the R mini chop or R modified chop. In terms of the treatment-related mortality, we have found that the no one patient treated with the R-CHOP died because of the, because of the treatment toxicity, compared to the almost more than 10% in the R-MINI-CHOP and the 10% in the R-MODIFIED CHOP. So, so we think that um, it's a really important issue to properly manage this elderly patient, but still, Although the majority are not qualified for the curative treatment, the minority could get the full dose of the, what we think is curative of the rituximab CHOP regimen. So I would like just to encourage people to think about these patients, to identify the patients who are in a good condition, who have a good albumin level, who have a good performance that is, and who could be treated uh, with the intensive treatment like an uh, R-CHOP.